Hey, good morning, Daily Gospel brothers and sisters. Well, today is April 5th, and although this is pre-recorded, uh, this evening I'll be actually be on concert. Woohoo! Uh, we have a, a little mini concert uh, called Poetry Reading and Song Concert. Uh, one of the singers uh, was a missionary from Korea. He invited me to uh, be part of his concert. Uh, it's, it's really tiny stage with 50 people only, but it's one of those things that I always wanted to do, but was never invited because I'm tone deaf. I'm not a very good singer. But he said, that's okay. <laughs> Why don't you read uh, some of your poem and then give a testimony and sing? So I said, sure, why not? And so I uh, made a print of my poetry book in Korean. It's uh, Dr. Babo's poetry collection, my Korean poems uh, of Chan Sangbyung, Korean poet, and Soren Kierkegaard. Uh, I wrote this book because uh, I was really uh, meditating on the whole existentialism and the things that I've learned. And as a consequence of my encounter with God in a very profound way. Soren Kierkegaard writes in his book, the Sickness Unto Death, which I'll be doing book, book talk soon in English and Korean. Uh, the philosopher Kierkegaard wrote The Sickness Unto Death, and he, wrote, he asked, do you despair as you live? Uh, using John chapter 11, uh, when Jesus says, well, the death that Nazareth had is not sickness unto death. <laughs> He's talking about physical death. And Kierkegaard, uh, being a Christian philosopher, he talks about, well, the true sickness unto death is not physical death, but actually despair that you give up, that you become nothing. Right? Uh, and then I actually brings out, uh, I uh, share some of the testimony or poems by Chan Sangbyung. He was Truly, truly an existentialist, without him actually knowing that he was. And that's my argument in this book, that uh, Chan sang was existentialist. Uh, he's, and he wrote most of his poem like a fifth grader language. And everybody said, that's just absurd, and how a uh, professional poet could write something so stupid, so simple, and get away with it. And because he wrote above reason, and he wasn't about to argue with his critiques, by saying that it's absurd. Yeah, it is absurd. Life is absurd. Then he turned around and asked, do you despair? Chan sang -byung was a genius poet that uh, the dictator Park didn't like, so put him in, in prison, and they did so much electricity torture that he becomes, uh, he loses manhood. He, he just, he cannot function as a man. Wow, what a life. And they just threw him out on the street. Everybody thought he was dead, so they published his poem, poetry book, thinking that he was dead and was found in the, on the street. So eventually he becomes, uh, I mean, he, he always wrote poetry, but his poetry is so simple. Everybody says that, wow, he probably lost his mind, you know, writing poems like a fifth graders. Well, he's my, my, uh, hero in terms of poetry, and so I try to mimic him, try to write like him. And he was fighting all this stuff that rationalists was trying to beautify. And they talked about how beautiful life is and all that. And, but his main thing was, but does that life exist? Is that your own? Do you become who you are, or do you want to become someone else? And so in that way, that, that the whole book of Sickness Unto Death is about that. I like what uh, Pope Francis of Catholic said. He said that the tyranny of modern man is comfort. See, my argument against uh, evangelical who really has turned in, uh, gospel into, you know, just grab all you can, and guy with most toy dies, wins, you know, you know, worshiping and honoring pastor who has $11 million home and million dollar car, and then he just became their icon, like that's how you should live. Pragma pragmatic, you know. But 
does it work? It's more important than, but is it right? You know, whole capitalistic approach to, do I benefit from this? Commercializing, make a relationship to a product. And I wrote a poem in Korean, which I'm not going to translate, because translating poetry is a treason. But I want to share about what Sura Kierkegaard wrote, how Abraham experienced despair because God demands despair from him. God says to Abraham, you know the son that you love, Isaac? Bring him and offer him to me as a burnt offering. Cut his throat chop up his lips, open his belly, wash his inter intestine, and burn it before me. Wow, talk about despair. See, to Abraham, my God is a good God, essence, but existence, but there is God, is more important. That's what existentialism is. Existence is, precedes essence. And he knew that this God that he worshipped all his life could ask him to do something outrageous like kill your son. This is the moment it's called teleological suspension of the ethical. <laughs> it's a philosophical term. Well, teleological suspension. The ethic is suspended when God speaks. God is not bound by ethics of men. And out of the despair, Abraham keeps his faith. Like so, poet Chun Sang Byung actually wrote a poem called Going Back Home, Going Back to Heaven. In it, although he lived through this painful process, he says, when I go back to heaven, I'll tell the Lord, it was awesome. Like, it was like a picnic. 10 years ago, 2012, July 18th, I remember waking up early in the morning. I went through this panic attack. Middle of the night, some demonic spirit woke me up and told me to jump and kill myself because of all the stuff that I was going through. I was praying and praying and praying about my life, my children, my ministry. And God says, can you die to that? Can you offer that as burnt offering? I was so disappointed with myself at the time. The thing that was happening, and I couldn't make any sense out of it. And, and I thought, surely, I'm a pretty good Christian. I had pretty awesome faith. I had a lot of stuff for the Lord. I traveled, I did this, I did that. And then, that yesterday's faith became nothing. Yesterday, I thought I was somebody special, but I was nobody to God. Because God said, can you die to that? The first part is Korean and basically says, yesterday's faith was awesome, I thought. But man, I'm, I'm breaking apart. What faith do I have? Do I look to the faith of my, my faith tomorrow? I thought I love God. Offer myself as a living sacrifice. If I'm not enough, what do I give God? Now, what, what do I have to offer to him? And then I cry out, I am so desperately in despair. <laughs> Ah 
많이 아름답다고 믿었었는데 이렇듯 내가 아니었다면 나는 이제 당신께 무얼 드리죠 Help me Lord Oh me This is my prayer I am so desperately in despair Help me Lord Oh me This is my prayer I am so Well, the Bible says you no longer live because you've been crucified with Christ. What is the point of being disappointed with yourself and your performance? And all that? You're crucified with Christ. You die. You offer everything to God. Yourself, your children, your life. Burn. I, I was able to survive. It was still illogical suspension of the ethical moment. Well, Lord bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Mwah.